and we're off. So today, Stan Romanek, truly a character in his own right. Let's start with the Wikipedia page, just to clear a few things up, because I might have misspoken last time about a couple of things. Stanley Tiger, Stan Romanek, born 1 December 1962, is an American author, alien abductee claimant, and convicted sex offender for child pornography crimes. How charming. He was the subject of the documentary film Extraordinary, The Stan Romanek Story. I did misspeak last time. I only rented that one. It's, uh, I mean, it is money and an hour and a half that I won't get back. But it isn't. It's kind of funny, actually. The trailer makes it all like, ooh, spooky, ooh, scary, aliens are harassing this man. Not really, I don't think. It's just funny and kind of ridiculous, the things that he says. Also, there's a lot of moments in, the, in there where he just looks like Nicolas Cage. And if there was a fictionalized version of Extraordinary, they should cast Nicolas Cage. It would work perfectly. His claims include being abducted by aliens, being implanted with an alien artifact, having sustained mysterious injuries inflicted by aliens, having experienced telepathic communication with aliens, and being dressed in women's clothing by aliens. What? Every once in a while I just go, what? Romanek has been unable to corroborate any of his alien-related claims. Shock of all shocks. On August 8, 2017, Romanek was found guilty of felony possession of child pornography. Put a pin in this, please. On December 14, 2017, he was sentenced to serve two years in a community corrections facility. He is now a registered sex offender in the Level 3 program for severe deniers. He is unable to use computers unmonitored or contact children under 18 without special approval. So I'm assuming that tanked his um, UFO photo making career. He has a website, by the way. Maybe it's still up. Just, maybe it's maintained by his poor, long-suffering wife, Lisa. I feel so bad for her. What in hell? A weed website? Is this correct? I don't think this is correct. Let's see. Hold on, I'm just looking something up. Yep, stanromonic.com. I wonder if they sold the domain for whatever reason.
Back to the Wikipedia page. Maybe. Oh, there's a Facebook site for Extraordinary. Because it looks like they sold the domain and it got bought by a a hemp person. No judging. No judging. Love this reference to uh, the, the alien peeping Tom. Is there a sequel? Extraordinary the seeding. I don't know what that is. What the? What the? Okay, I need to know. What is going on? Okay. Through an in-depth through in-depth harrowing interviews with contactees and frank conversations with ufology experts, Extraordinary the Seeding explores alien hybridization programs, why they're happening and their impact on humanity. Screams in biology. Um, I wonder if, like, there's a way back machine for... For his website. abducted, haunted, framed by the government. Okay, so that is his defense, by the way, for the, um, for the alien, like, that. that's his defense for the child porn, is the government put it on his laptop and set him up to silence him about what the UFOs were doing. Um... Let's find this. Let's see if we can find this. Enter a URL. Hmm. Oh, here we go. We have found, through the Wayback Machine, Stan Ramonic, the world's most documented extraterrestrial contact story. The YouTube video, upcoming events. Another YouTube video. 
The Stan Romana case is the most scientifically documented human extraterrestrial encounters in the world. There have been well over a hundred individually unique experiences that Stan has encountered since December 2000 that remain unexplainable. Being abducted is only one of these experiences. There have been hundreds of witnesses for dozens of events that defy our current understanding of reality. Witnesses, photographs, videotapes, physical evidence, police reports, and scientific analysis have confirmed the validity of these experiences beyond a reasonable doubt. Scientists from top universities have been analyzing various aspects of this case for several years with amazing results expected to be presented to the public and the scientific community in the near future. Equations. He says, like, aliens beamed equations into his brain that he could never know. On. What's on some of these others? Here's our, we've traveled forward in time a little bit. I'm figuring out how the Wayback Machine works. Updated info regarding Stan Romanek's criminal case. It says click below for more information. Let's click. Loveland City Council fires the city manager responsible for corrupting Loveland Police Detective Brian Koopman. They, of course, picked that picture. I gotta say, though, I really appreciate the retro web design. <laughs> and he wrote books. Click on images for details. Okay. Answers is more than a sequel to the bestseller messages. When Stan Romanek walks into a UFO conference, he brings more than his whole life with him. He also brings the concealed story of our inseparable connection with extraterrestrial beings and celestial guides. So this is the new iteration of... I thought I muted that, of um, the contactees first got really big in, like, the 50s before abductions became a thing. And um, one of their, like, big messages was, like, oh, this they called, they called the aliens the Space Brothers. And the Space Brothers always wanted to help mankind and lead to nuclear disarmament and like help the environment. And they were always like had the same kind of spiritual beliefs as who, whoever they were talking to. I kind of, pl I'm, I'm playing with this in the uh, book series that I'm writing because I'm a glutton for punishment that, um, 
the idea that the Space Brothers are just a bunch of lying bastards manipulating, like, random gullible idiots toward their own ends. Probably Conquest or something. Um, sort of like one of the darker takes on Childhood's End. Very good miniseries. I should read the book slash short story. Um, I just never seem to find time for anything half the time. But yeah, this is that with a new coat of paint. If you listen, Romanic will tell you why oneness is the only true reality. As a species, we have forgotten where we are going, and it is now our time to wake up. Wake up, sheeple! If you listen, he'll reveal the story of probable futures and how our planet is inextricably connected to the evolution of our galaxy. Oh my god. Cries in biology. The Orion Regressions. What is with this? This is this is quite the uh this is quite the artistic motif. Uh Quite the artistic motif, Stan. The Orion Regressions is a full transcript of five regression sessions conducted by Dr. R. Leo Sprinkle to explore Stan Romanek's contact with extraterrestrial beings. One of those was filmed for Extraordinary, the documentary. It's kind of wild to look at. Although Stan Romanek's first book, an international bestseller, messages the world's most documented extraterrestrial contact story, talks about his experiences, it would also set the stage for things to come that would lead up to the Orion regressions. Exclamation point. From my side of the bed, Lisa Romanek, the poor long-suffering wife who I actually really, really feel bad for. I wouldn't be shocked if she's just, like, disappeared into obscurity, all things considered. A spouse's point of view is a true account of extraterrestrial contact with the first time from a spouse's point of view. More than a how-to book in coping, she addresses deep and biting questions that have rarely been addressed in public dialogue. Oh, here it is, the first book, Messages, the international bestseller. is a welcome addition to UFO literature. Published by Llewellyn Worldwide. This is where I get my pagan books, by the way. I have to take a minute. Minute's over. He's written books. I can't spell. He probably has, like... There's really going to be reviews, then, on his stuff. Um, Messages, his first book. 215 reviews, average of about... Oh, average of 4.2 out of 5 stars. See all customer reviews. Good book, entertaining, genuine story, good read. I like to poke around critical reviews to see what people think. Two stars, uh, Research before purchase and question everything. I was a bit baffled by messages, as it was unclear to me if it held any evidentiary value for the mystery at large. Great question. 
absolutely a valid angle. Witnesses of UFO phenomena, such as myself, and objective believers alike will unfortunately find trouble in the Ramonic house, so to speak. Well, I'm sure there's all kinds of trouble in that house. The famous Boo video, which I haven't found yet, um, he captured that, allegedly. His backstory for that video is he was trying... He was either trying to catch a peeping Tom who was peeping on his teenage daughters or it was one of his sons and he was trying to get the dirt on them by, I guess, filming him running around in his underwear at night. Remember when I said to put a pin in those child porn charges? He provided the bare minimum of speculative evidence, withholding much exclamation point that is claimed to exist from the readership. I feel like if there was a real abduction and people wanted and they wanted to talk about it, they well, it depends. They'd probably talk to a therapist. Like, an actual licensed psychologist. Somebody who has credentials. And then... They try to gather evidence. Eventually, by law of chance, they would have indisputable proof. That they could go public with, or not. But I don't think they would try to make money off of it. Maybe they would, maybe they wouldn't, but that always kind of damages credibility. Discrepancies in the timing and use of recording equipment or the absence of emergency responders when normally needed, among another, a number of other matters, did not help promote a reasonable belief in his account. Skeptics, as is their nature, will expectedly ridicule Romanic's account. I don't think that's how skepticism works, but I mean gave them further cause to challenge its authenticity. Starseed, really, is a three-star review. Someone once told me, when you hear the truth, you know it. Generally, I found this to be true to the point of being an axiom. In this case, messages doesn't seem to peg my truth meter. Oh my god! I am unconvinced. Why is Stan Ramonic so popular with space aliens? A three-star review. This is a good question. This is a really good question. I bought this book because I wanted to read something on UFOs and the Kindle price was only $1.99. Valid. It is mostly a collection of anecdotal stories about Stan Ramonic and his lifelong encounter with extraterrestrial aliens. I found this interesting but unconvincing. Ramana claims he has been monitored closely by aliens since he was a young child, being visited by women with large blue eyes. They're always, like, it's always, like, a really hot woman, or they're tall and blonde and have blue eyes, or they're little and gray and have big bulbous heads, or something like that. There's always, like, one of two, maybe, types going on. And told you are one of us. How is Romanic one of them? Great question. Should he, he should get his DNA tested. He really should. If this is the thing. Like, you can do that now. You can literally... Go to 23andMe.com or Ancestry.com and order a kit and they'll literally mail it to you. And you spit into a vial and you mail it back. And they'll show you your results of like where markers in your DNA have come from. And that like points to your lineage. For example, I am English as the day is long according to my DNA tests. Just about English as the day is long, with bits of everything else mixed in. 
The aliens are so smart that when their UFOs follow Romantic's car across country, they fly behind clouds at the very moment he aims a camera at them to avoid being documented. I read Robert Schieffer's books at least once each. He talks about a th an idea called the jealous phenomenon. A jealous phenomenon is something he describes as suspicious and watchful about when humans encounter it. He adopted this from ancient Greek philosophers ascribing human motives to animal behavior, usually the behavior of animals they haven't seen. The basic idea is that a jealous phenomenon does not exist because it takes its it allegedly takes its time to decide to hide itself away so that like all the evidence you can get on it that it deigns to show you is is far short of the claim and you know um Carl Sagan says, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. That was Carl Sagan, right? Claims require extraordinary evidence. Yep, Carl Sagan. Anyways, basically, a rare phenomenon will eventually leave behind enough evidence or a lot of times more than enough evidence for people to determine its exact properties. There was a fireball in the 70s over the region where I now live. Nobody saw it coming and like, there was so many pictures and videos and it can't, like people were detecting it on radar. Like everybody had seen it pretty much. And where I live, there's like, one people and three cows per, one person and three cows per square mile one people wow um but yeah that's how jealous phenomena work compared to incredibly rare or unexpected phenomena And that's, that, that's what brings us back to this. The aliens are so smart that when their UFOs follow Romanik's car across the country, they fly behind clouds at the very moment he aims a camera at them to avoid being documented. Who sometimes fly over... <laughs> A prime example of creative nonfiction. Two stars. I feel like Stan Romanek took a simple idea and ran with it to Mars. This is creative nonfiction claiming to be fact. So, those were some of the reviews for messages. What are the reviews for Answers? The alleged sequel. Oh my hell. I can never get over his pictures. Answers that one can only hope. See all reviews. Critical reviews. I did not like it. Unfortunately, he's likely a fake. I'm a believer, but this is fake. Says a most documented case ever. Yeah. They say a lot of things that fall that fail to back any of it up. A strange brew. Hmm. I 
I write messages first. Drifting. More questions than answers. I ended up returning it when I realized he's a con man trying to market poor quality and unoriginal science fiction. On Amazon Prime Video, you can watch the documentary. Let's see if we can find the author page. Here we go. The Orion Regression with 80 reviews. The Alien Channel. Where's the humility? Great question, uh, Ryan. Great question. Read this last. It's okay. Fag author ego trip. Answers. But yes, he wrote a couple of books, and so did she. I feel so bad for her, I'm not going to ridicule her. Uh... Yes, here we get a look at the equations again. The dots represent an alignment of the planets, a date, and this important event will unfold. Planets never quite truly align. What the? But I guess this is what it's supposed to look like. This is one another one of the equations. I feel like it actually does mean something, but I'm not actually, you know, let's Google it. Make equations. Stan analysis significance of the Romanus e equations.
The so-called Ramonic equations arose from the UFO contact case in which Mr. Stan Ramonic, who has severe dyslexia in a grade school of mathematics, wrote in his sleep and under hypnosis a series of complex equations. Nearly worthless. Some of the equations given to Stan. During his contact. Like, I took a math class. I think, judging by the visual aids, this is supposed to be how the craft flies. Physicists talk about Stan's equations. I'm looking at this as someone who, like, took a math class once. Actually, I took several. But it's been a while. You're kidding. You're kidding. They made the Boo Alien into a GIF for their, for their website. St in J July 17th, 2003, Stan thought there was a problem with a peeping Tom. This went on for months until a researcher involved with this case suggested that the next time he suspected anything out of the ordinary, he should set up his camera recorder and put it on night shot and then walk away. Suddenly, Stan noticed that two flashes of bright light. When he came to investigate, he was surprised to see something very strange outside running away. Stan was even more surprised when he realized that he had captured on film did not look human. I wonder if we can find this on YouTube. The real Ramonic alien video. Okay.
Okay, that's flash number two. That was the boo video, everybody. Uh, there's actually a whole genre of these. People made their own versions. I want no honey boo boo. But yeah, the theory about that video was uh, that it was like a puppet head and he'd use CGI to like make the eyes move. Which I think, by the way, is how they do Baby Yoda in the Mandalorian series. Because he's a puppet, but they, like, CGI his eyes to move and his face to move a little bit. Because he's supposed to be like a flesh and blood alien creature. I don't want... That one we saw... Fake alien in the window. But yeah, there was a whole genre for a little bit of, um, of recreating that boo video. Like aliens would do things like sing or dance or or stuff like that. Stan's book. Story timeline. Milky Way contains a million billion trillion, a hundred trillion stars. Forty percent of those stars may contain planetary systems. I think that number went up because apparently these days with our tech, we can't swing a dead cat without hitting exoplanets. 
how the contact began. Just goes on and on. 2012 Women's UFO Symposium. Oi, um, oi, oi, oi. What is the latest capture? Okay, so we can't access the latest stuff, but I think that's shortly around when when everything was sold off. And like, now there's a, a hemp site there. Music. This is the gift that keeps on giving. Medicine wind. Stan Ramon. Involving the other Sam Monica and Cart Cart Cree toured the country as a renowned Native American flute musician. Apparently, this is the only website I know of that claims that he is part Cree. Okay. Uh. Oh, okay. Some of these are just the give that keep on giving. Okay. Extraordinary on IMDb. Of course, the funky looking handprint on this poster. 3.8 out of 10. Over 60. Over 1,600 people have waited this, or have rated this. User reviews. Good grief, Starseed. <laughs> A cry for help, or maybe a cry for attention. Unintentional comedy gold. 
I actually agree with this one. A disturbed individual. Total waste of time. If you already believe, then go ahead. If not, this won't be the one to change your mind. I'm a believer, but I don't believe this. This is starting to echo the critical reviews of his first book and actually a little bit of his second and third books. I've never laughed so hard, 10 out of 10. The sad reality. Oh dear. Oh dear. I am a full believer and I thought this was embarrassing. This must be a joke. Horrible, Stan should be ashamed. Waste of time and this dude is into kitty porn. This will haunt him for the rest of his natural fucking life. And you know what? Good. Don't waste a single minute of your life watching this. Or do, but bring, po bring popcorn. This is a documentary? It's obvious no one here watched until the end. Oh, the part where he claims that um, the government is conspiring against him and planting kitty porn on his computer to silence him? That the end? That end. All those small paychecks is speaking, speaking at UFO conferences really add up. The Stan Romanic comedy. Is this the ravings of a madman? A web of lies that spiraled out of control? What the censored? Best comedy ever, 10 out of 10. Portrait of a sad man. Yeah, this is a lot of echoing the reviews of his books. So... Some things don't change, I guess. That was, uh, that was the Stan Romanic story. This Stan Romanic experience is free. Uh, I might take another dive into the Majestic 12 documents because they have their own website. And there's more than just the Psalm Manual, which was a trip and a half in itself, if you saw the first one, the first one of these videos. You know, I am still not over the aliens getting called Oriental. I'm not. So, that was the experience. That was probably not the experience that Mr. Romanic had in mind. I continue to cry in biology over the alien human. I forgot to mention the alien human hybrid little girls that he claims are his. And in the documentary, they take up like the whole second half uh, is, is photoshopped pictures of weird looking little girls. And he claims that they're hybrid children and that they're his. And he won't shut up about how beautiful they are. This will haunt him for the rest of his life. The, the kitty porn charges. But he's like crazy obsessed with these beautiful little girls that he thinks are his. And that he thinks are extraterrestrial. I feel like, personally, evolutionary levels... And anytime interspecies, interplanetary hybridization comes up in sci fi, I just can't anymore with the story. It's something that I try to avoid in my own work because I studied the subject in college. I don't want to, like, I think it's ridiculous. I think it's, it's patently and blatantly wrong. It's, I die a little inside every single time.